them off prematurely. Whoops. And you'll see why. But I'm going to put them back on because maybe it's a healing. When you hear the poem, you might understand it. <laughs> the School of Higher Learning. Look, see, spot, jump, Sally. Remember that? Don't talk in class or take your shoes off under the desk. Don't draw outside the lines. Mom, school is like being in the army. You always have to stand in line, said my nine-year-old son. I wish war was extinct like the dinosaur age, said his brother. The Celts thought it was weak to wear armor into battle. They went in naked, painted blue. I took the sword of high-tech hospital birth with no armor twice. My brothers used needles to shoot up dope, infected with life-threatening disease. No armor. They say the Irish suffer from Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it will. But no natural law denies freedom, education, the access to food, or the land to grow it. The Irish lost their Gaelic voice because men outlawed it. Thomas Jefferson's why it's taking me so long to read poems in public. An oral report in the fifth grade can really cut you down to size. I was small with no armor. I graduated from high school not wanting to be a secretary because that's what was expected of girls like me. Even though I thought shorthand was cool, I blocked out all the oral reports and took Valium with a growing lump in my throat. What didn't I want to swallow? I majored in mustaches on TV Guide people. I blackened out their teeth, drew on glasses and wigs. It was the shorthand of poetry I wanted to learn outside the lines. Barefoot and loud, painted blue and naked. When I graduated from high school, I never could imagine that my proudest life accomplishment would be reading out loud every Hobbit, Borrowers, Moss Flower, Narnia, and Earthsea book in each series to my sons. And I didn't know then that my father's occupation, marked with nobles in the time of Celts, my dad wore a blue-collar working-class leash, a metalsmith with a genetic wound seared on his psyche. And I didn't know then that dyslexia, like reading underwater backwards in a mirror, was good training for poets, or that Celtic poets were as honored as kings. And when my fourth grade teacher made me go barefoot in class, punishment, for taking my shoes off under the desk. I didn't know then that the inflicted could become their own inflictors, or that our worst liabilities are also our assets. Long ago, my father read a fairy tale to me, a bit of broken glass embedded in our sight holds us hostage to bitterness, the snow queen. Shame cuts, as does a sharpened wit or pen. Slash by slash, the druid's own, worn by time, tells the same story. He was saved by the Snow Queen because somebody loved him and because he was finally able to cry out the glass, which was really a mirror. Then something about red shoes lost down the river. I didn't know then that my ancestors had no shoes. I didn't learn that in school.